Hello and welcome to another episode of BLG News for the week of October the 7th. I'm Marcus Boston. Guys, thanks for taking the time to watch the news for this week. And I want to get started with what we are in today in October. We're in October now, and you've probably seen a lot of pink on TV, especially in sporting events and even around your community. Well, that is because we are in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So ladies, if you're at that age, you need to go ahead and start getting your mammograms done and things of that nature because, well, it's been, well, if you found out, is that if you can catch breast cancer early, it really helps you out down the line. So again, we are in October and it is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The second story I want to talk to you about is brought to my attention by my brother Quentin a couple of weeks ago, but it also um, is something that Renee and I, we, we see a lot too. And that is now we've got everybody, if you look out, you see a lot of um, headphones and things of that nature and people are, are driving with headphones. And I just wanted to just take a quick moment and say that that's very dangerous. If you are one of these people that are driving down the road and you're bopping your Beats by Dre or whatever type of headphones that you are wearing, um, you really need to be, you really, you probably shouldn't, I'm gonna just say it, you should not be driving with headphones on. Under Maryland law, you, you are not supposed to wear headphones when you drive unless you fit in a very narrow set of uh, exceptions. But in general, um, headphones, driving, listening to loud music while you are driving. These are all things that are disasters. These are things that w that can really contribute to a bad, very bad accident. Um, and Renee and I, we were in the car a couple of days ago and we saw an individual had the headphones on, wasn't, evidently could not hear what was going on around him. Um, there was an ambulance that was, that was going um, that we heard, but he didn't hear it and we just, you know, was continuing to drive and almost caused a really, really bad accident. So I'm going to go ahead. This is my little plug for the week. If you got the headphones on, guys, take them off. It's just not really that serious. Same thing with the texting while driving. Maryland is cracking down on this. All right. The second thing I want to talk about is this story was brought to my attention from uh, a great BLG fan. And this is especially if you have grown up and you play video games and that thing, and, you know, and, and things of that nature, you are probably familiar now with the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit against EA Sports Electronic Arts. And it's a class action lawsuit that's going on right now. Um, but O'Bannon and the class have decided to settle, though they have a proposed settlement with EA Sports. The issue here, guys, is that if you've played these games, you know that they are based on players and in um, EA Sports for years had what they had been doing is they were not using the names of the players. They were just using their images and their numbers. But the players that they were using on the video games, they pretty much had the same statistics and the same abilities uh, as the as their real life counterparts. Well, EA Sports has made a lot of money on this and the college players were saying, hey, you're using our likeness and you're making all of this money, but we don't get any of it. So that is really what that lawsuit is dealing with. And there is another lawsuit that's also hanging out there too, where I think O'Bannon is dealing with the NCAA. That lawsuit has not settled, um, but it's pretty much the same thing that's going on with that lawsuit, O'Bannon um, uh, against the e NCAA and that one has not settled. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stay on the lookout for the results of that one. And finally, the last story that we're going to deal with this week are, of course, my NFL picks for this week. Last week, guys, I went 10 and 4, uh, which was really good. I mean, I thought that was really good. It's the best that I've done so far. Um, and that puts my total to 46 and 31. 46 and 31. Guys, come on. You know that's good. That's really, really good. Last week really helped me out with that 10 and 4 record. So, um, here are my picks for this week. Let's get to going. Okay, we got the Thursday night game, the New York Giants at the Chicago Bears. Giants have not won a game all year. Yes, Bruce Edwards, I'm going with the Chicago Bears. Now we'll get to the Sunday games. We've got Buffalo 
and Cincinnati. Cincinnati is going to be coming into Buffalo for this. I'm going with Cincinnati. We've got the Detroit Lions and the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland is at home, guys, but I'm going to go with uh, Detroit on this one. You've got the Oakland Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs. Oakland and Kansas City. Kansas City is playing home. Kansas City, they, are just, they just find a way to win. So I'm going to go with Kansas City this week. We've got the Carolina Panthers, guys, and the uh, Minnesota Vikings. Y'all know my mom. She loves the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota Vikings are at home this week. They got Carolina coming in. Mom, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Vikings this week. We've got Pittsburgh, and we've got the New York Jets. Pittsburgh has not won a game all year. I'm going to say that again. Pittsburgh has not won a game all year. And I think it's going to continue uh, this week because I'm going with the Jets. The next game is the uh, Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. Quentin, they are in shambles. You know they're in shambles, and I get an opportunity to say something about them, and you don't have an opportunity to say anything back. But the Bucks suck right now. They got rid of Josh Freeman, who, by the way, was just picked up by the uh, Minnesota Vikings. This guy, Shiano, guys, y'all, you know, if you're familiar with him, he came from college. He's trying to bring that college mentality into the NFL. He's not having any success. Bucks are going to lose this week. Eagles are going to kick their butts. We are now at the another one o'clock game. Green Bay is going to Baltimore. Green Bay, believe it or not, um, Aaron Rodgers is he's playing pretty good this year. But Green Bay, is, they're 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 getting by. They got to come up to Baltimore and do it, guys. I, I, I even though Rodgers is my fantasy football quarterback, I'm going with the Ravens this week. We've got the Rams and the Houston Texans. Well, I've got my Rams jersey on today, guys. Last week, they were able to limp by the winless Jacksonville Jaguars. So, um, but this week, Houston is in town and they're coming to Houston. Guys, you know, I don't just want to be a homer. I don't, the Rams are just not good this year. And I've got to, I got to go with Houston. I mean, Houston is a better team. They looked really bad last week, but Again, they've got a really good defense. Sam Bradford just has not shown me much. We've now got the Jacksonville Jaguars coming into Denver. Hide the women and children. Please hide the women and children. Um, Peyton Manning, I mean, they may put 60 or 70 up on Jacksonville. I'm going with Denver, of course, guys. Then we've got Tennessee and Seattle. Seattle is at home. Tennessee does not stand a chance. Hate the Seattle Seahawks, but got to give them their props. I'm taking Seattle this week. New Orleans and the Patriots. Tom Brady's streak was snapped with consistently throwing at least one touchdown in every game. Guys, I'm going with the Saints, going with Drew Brees. The Patriots are not anything special this year. They are, if I can borrow from Denny Green, they are who we thought they were. They're who we thought they were. So I'm going with the uh, with New Orleans Saints. Uh, Breeze and company, I'm picking them. Arizona Cardinals coming in to play the San Francisco 49ers, guys. 49ers at home. And Arizona, they're a little bit better than what people give them credit for. But I just don't see them beating the 49ers at home. Guys, I'm going with the 49ers. And we've got the Monday night game. This game has, this is just has the makings of a really good game. Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. My brother Andrew, big and big uh, Washington Redskins fan, but Andrew, I just don't see him doing it in Dallas. Dallas put up 50 uh, last week with Romo throwing. Um, I just don't see that the Redskins will be able to keep up and score like that. Um, oh, I, you know what? I made a mistake. That is the Sunday night game. I'm sorry, guys. That's the Sunday night game. It's the Redskins and Dallas. The Monday night game is the Colts and the San Diego Chargers. Guys, going with Andrew Luck. This guy, he is what Sam Bradford was supposed to be. Luck is luck. Luck has got it going on, guys. I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts this week. I predict that they will beat the San Diego Chargers. That's my picks for the week, guys, and that is the news for BLG for the week of October the 7th. Remember, if you have a story that you would like us to talk about, send us an email at info at bostonlawllc.com. Again, that's info at bostonlawllc.com. You don't want to do email, but you see BLG on Facebook, Twitter, and all of that good stuff, YouTube. You can send us a message on any of those social media outlets, too. And if it's something that has something to do with what we've got going on here at BLG, we'll 
we'll do our best to try to get it in for the for the uh, in the weekly news. Guys, again, thanks for taking the time to watch the video this week. I'm Marcus Boston, and we'll see you next week, guys. Take care.